NOAA issues its winter weather outlook. I know many of you are looking forward to winter. Let's get to Jonathan Kegis in the Weather Center with what it says. Is it going to be a cold one? Yeah, well, they're forecasting pretty much the entire country to see above normal temperatures, so that's a start, but we'll get into that in just one second. This is hot off the press. Just had their 11 o'clock conference here as they released it, so just about an hour old. This is the temperature outlook, and you see our region in the white there representing there is an equal chance for either above or below normal temperatures. You see they're back off towards the west is typical with an El Nino winter. The northern tier of the country typically much, much warmer than normal. Although the precipitation, look at this, we are outlook to see above normal precipitation from the Climate Prediction Center. So if we have that above normal precipitation and we get those cold outbreaks, you know what that means, cold and wet equals some snow. So the opportunity going to be there, it looks like at least with some storms. Typically in an El Nino pattern, we do have an active storm track. The subtropical jet, that southern branch of the jet stream, typically more active. That brings the moisture in this direction. And every now and then it meets up with the polar jet stream, kind of like the Ghostbusters crossing the streams there. The two kind of get together and help to make those nice big southern storms that we uh, typically like, at least the snow lovers typically like, and that could produce some of those bigger snows. Again, that's a typical El Nino pattern. Later on in November, Storm Team 10 is going to have our own winter outlook in terms of what you can expect month by month. That's something to look forward to going forward.